Alhamdulillah, he rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a clear purpose, a clear methodology, a clear minhaj to follow in this life. And that purpose is outlined in the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْتِلَ لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. So we know that our purpose is to worship Allah. What does that mean for us in our daily lives? How can we practice that? We practice that by devoting all acts of worship, by making sure that we take out time in our busy lives and schedule to pray five times a day. That is the minimum. And to supplicate to Allah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet sallallahu said, a dua hu ibadah, that dua, supplication is ibadah, it is worship. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, You know, he, he commands us to supplicate to him. All throughout the Qur'an. فَاسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلِيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشِدُونَ That the one, you know, supplicate to me and believe in me in order that you will be guided. So that is part of our guidance. By asking رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ uh, for guidance and supplicating to him. Constantly. كَثِير كَثِير You know, I, Praying to our Lord Subhana. May Allah bless us all with tawfiq. You know, we, we, we fall so short. We have so many sins. And we often fall into things in our life and, and we exhibit hypocrisy constantly. You know, doing this sin and doing that sin. Knowing very well that your Lord Subhanahu wa ta'ala, you can't, nothing escapes Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala. His knowledge. He's over all things uh, omnipotent. And he is over all things aware and watchful. And his knowledge encompasses everything. You can't hide from Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're in need of his forgiveness. We're in need of his guidance, his grace, and his mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Blesses us with so much in our daily lives. He gives us sustenance. He's our razak. And he provides for us in the most minimal ways in which we can't even begin to thank him. But yet again, we go back to disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm speaking more about myself than anyone else. And I wish what I like, I enjoy speaking about these issues because it reminds me. And it makes me feel even more shame when I do uh, something sinful. Because we have to remind one another as brothers and sisters in Islam. And we have to remind ourselves. We have to remind ourselves. Never think that your knowledge, you have enough knowledge. Because regardless of whatever level your knowledge is, you need a reminder. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know. فَذَكِّرُ فَإِنَّ فَعَتِ That, that, rem, uh, Remind, remind one another. For verily, the reminder benefits the believer. And Allah mentions that all throughout the Quran, you know, several ayats about the importance of reminding and that it will benefit the believers. And remind, and it, 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 it possibly it may benefit the, the listener. So, that is the duty of the believer, to remind one another. Innuhum yusariyuna fil khayrat. That verily, they are the ones who supplicate to us. And they strive for good. You know, they're doing the righteous deeds and they're striving in them, racing one another. And they supplicate to us, meaning they supplicate to Allah wa ta'ala, with humility, hope and fear. And verily, they are those, the khashi'in, those who are fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They come to Him in humility with, and, and humbleness. You know, that's what's going to benefit you in this life as well as the hereafter. 
and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from Kulisu and Makru and bless the Muslims everywhere, especially our brothers and sisters in Syria and Burma right now in China that are being severely oppressed and our brothers in Ethiopia who are also being oppressed at the hands of tyrants who are oppressing them and their cohorts which are Jamaat al Bash who are trying to take advantage of the situation and who the tyrants have placed in a position of authority over the Muslim organizations in that country may Allah protect them and help us and unite our hearts and we ask Allah the Almighty for all good and protects us all evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam